Hello and welcome to the last in our series looking at Chocolat, the wonderful story by Joanne Harris. We come to the end of the story and the story really ends with two wonderful different scenes. The first is um, a birthday party that is had for the old lady who has been coming to Vivienne's shop almost every day. And um, at this birthday celebration, Vivienne makes all the food with lots of amazing recipes using chocolate in extraordinary ways. And the old lady invites her daughter with whom she's had a very difficult relationship because the daughter wants her to go and live in an old age home and she refuses to go. Her grandson is invited with whom she has rekindled a friendship, particularly through Vivienne's chocolate shop. And then she invites some of the river gypsies, Vivienne, and a couple of other people from the village. This is an extraordinary feast. And over wonderful food and delicious wine, people relax and a whole new camaraderie is developed amongst all the visitors. And for a moment, the old lady and her daughter see each other with new eyes and appreciate each other much more. Sadly, after the birthday party, the next day, the old lady passes away of diabetes and it becomes very clear that she knew she was ill and this is how she wanted to go. The story finally ends on Easter Sunday when after the service in the town square, the whole village come together and there is a huge celebration in which chocolate plays an incredibly important role and everybody celebrates the resurrection of Christ and what it means to be community. What Joanne Harris does in this book is that she uses food and celebration as key moments in which people, particularly people who've been estranged from one another, come together and rediscover what they have in common, rediscover what they appreciate about each other, and about themselves. In our world in which food is so plentiful and in which we spend a lot of time thinking about dieting, this book is a wonderful reminder that food can be at the heart of celebration. And that's really the invitation at the Eucharist. Each Eucharist is a celebratory meal in which we remember that we are given all we need by God. It is a meal that binds us together. It is a meal of fellowship. It is a meal in which we are reminded of the gifts we each have and how special we are in our communities. And one of the things that we as Christians are encouraged to do and invited to do is to take that celebration of meal into our everyday lives. And this book, Chocolat, is a wonderful invitation and reminder to make meals those sacred engagements that they can be. Meals, especially celebratory meals, can be the way in which we reconnect with one another. It can be that wonderful space in which we see each other with new eyes. For me, this is particularly important at this moment in our journey through COVID. We have been distant from each other so much over the last couple of months that I would suggest one of the key things we need to do going forward in the next couple of weeks, especially as we think of the coming of Christmas, is to actively create meals, meals where we invite family and friends, and we really reconnect with one another, and we celebrate the beauty in each other, and the gift of being together, and the gift of celebrating. So I hope that this gives you something to think with. I hope that this allows you to come to the end of this book journey with me 
and to appreciate how food can be at the heart of celebration, that gift of feeding ourselves and feeding each other, that gift of reconnecting and being renewed and strengthened together and again. And that as we come to a new phase in our COVID journey, that each of you have opportunities to celebrate and connect with friends and family anew. So God bless you. Stay well.